It is my pleasure this evening to introduce to you our speaker for this evening, uh, Reverend Roger Tidwell, pastor of the First Baptist Church in Pat. He'll be bringing us our back to our message. Let me just say that I appreciate this opportunity to bring to you and graduates a message from God's Word. Perhaps just a word of help and encouragement. I hate to admit this, but this is the first baccalaureate I have ever achieved. The high school I went to, before you could go to baccalaureate, you had to be able to spell it. And I never quite got it. That part. Very proud of, I know the rest of the community are of the graduates of the 1992 class. Being a senior is a great opportunity, great honor. I reflect back on my years in high school, and I remember well my senior year. Three of the best years of my life I spent as a senior. <laughs> I brought a bag, a gym bag, a gym bag from the How Bulldogs, and I have in this gym bag t-shirts. The message that we wear is a message about who we are, what we're about. You see me wearing a suit. I wear it on Sunday, I'm a preacher. We look at these graduates, we look at what they are wearing. It's obvious, the message, they're graduating high school. What I did this evening is I went through my clothes and I thought about some of the t-shirts that, that I wear and the message that they say. And then I brought some t-shirts t -shirt, for the graduates here that I hope that they cannot literally and physically wear with them but something that they can wear with them throughout their life. The first t-shirt I brought, this may be familiar for some of you, is the Walkathon, Texas United for Life from Aitken County Crisis Pregnancy Center. And this message was a message for those who wore it concerning their stand on abortion. I have here the message of hope. This is a t-shirt from a friend of mine in Austin, Texas that just started his new business several months ago. Flix Production. It's a new computer company. This is his advertisement. And for him, this t-shirt is a message of hope. I don't know if I should show you this. I bought this while I was in Austin, Texas for a dollar at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say. <laughs> the little town that I lived in near Austin was Bastrop. We bought one of their school shirts. They were the Bastrop Bears. I brought this shirt for you young people because this is a message to me of stupidity. Oh, well, the school was great. The town was great. We had a football team that was ranked number one in state for class play. The football coach decided that he would play a third string ineligible player. They had to forfeit all but two of their games. They lost district. They lost the class. Stupidity. Boy, I had to go way back to this one. I bet this doesn't even fit even more. This is a baseball jersey. This is a message of good times. Of good times. And young people, you are going through some of the best times of your life right now. I brought three other t-shirts that I'm going to share with you in just a moment. And these are the t-shirts that I want you to carry with you throughout the rest of your life. And the first 
t-shirt that I'm going to share with you is one that I hope and I pray that you take with you the remaining few weeks of this time of the 12th grade year. The text that I've chosen for this message comes from the 6th chapter of the book of Galatians. For you see in the Bible there is the principle called the principle of sowing and reaping. That's the principle. All you and I ever do in life is illustrate this principle. The fact of the matter is we are going to reap what we sow. And here's what Paul said. He said, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Now here's the principle. A man reaps what he sows. Young people, this principle is very, very, very simple. It simply says, God says this, what you put into life is what you're going to get out of life. Now some of you are a living example of that. Some of you have gone through 12 years of school and you've waited until the last two weeks of school to crack down on the books. Well, the principle of sowing and reaping means chances are, if that's you, you're not going to graduate with honors. Many of you are going to be like me when it comes to honors. The closest thing I ever got to honors is when I was standing before the judge one time and went, yes, your honor, no, your honor. <laughs> but the principle is true. You reap what you sow. It's that simple. You reap what you sow, you're going to reap more than you sow, and you're going to reap later than you sow. That's the facts. And all you and I ever do, young person or adult, is illustrate that fact. Now that's how the principle works. Let me share with you these three t-shirts. Since the principle is true, you reap what you sow. That's true. Young people, carry with you, especially in the next several days, this t-shirt. Think. You reap what you sow. That's the fact. That is an unchanging principle. So remember, think. God gave you this noggin full of brain. You spent 12 years to educate yourself. You spent 12 years preparing for this day. You are about to get on with a new phase in your life. Many things are going through your mind. Activities are coming up. What are you going to do after this service? What are you going to do after graduation? The night of graduation. What I'm telling you to do is before you do anything stupid, think. Before you do anything that is going to mess up your life, think. The principle is true. You are going to reap what you sow. Now let me give you some things to think about. Think first of all about God and His plan for your life. I don't know if you understand this, my friend, but understand this. You are very, very, very special to God. God loves you, and God has a plan, a perfect plan for your life. And if you want God's best, and if you want God's blessings, what you and I need to do is to find God's plan for our life. And once we find it, and know his purpose, then we go about the business the rest of our life fulfilling God's plan and purpose for our life. Now, you may have been a surprise to your parents, but my dear friend, you are not a surprise to God. There are no such things as accidents in the mind and heart of God. God knows you. God knew you before you were formed. God knew you before you were a twinkle in your mom and daddy's eyes. God knew you. You were that special to God. Now, I know what you may be thinking. You may be thinking, look, I don't know about you. I didn't graduate with honors. I, didn't, I just barely grew 